any other players? I mean, I, I you know, I think a lot of these storylines have been touched on, but any other players uh, before we dig into details really stood out to you? Um, something notable that you saw just in terms of potentially guys in the minors who could be impact players later in the year or someone who's supposed to start. I went back and watched batting practice on the minor league fields. And and with these groups, you see guys who, who physically just look like big leaguers. And it might be because they're next to 18, 19, 20 year old kids, but they just have the physical build where you're like, holy moly, that's a big leaguer. Yeah. So in one hitting group, Alex Kirilov, I'm calling him baby Votto, hashtag baby Votto, <laughs> not only looks like a big leaguer, but you hear the ball and the bat meeting the ball, and it's just unbelievable. Spring Dad, Dad's drives. a swing coach. He's yeah. already pretty – Spraying yeah, line well, drives left and right. Yeah. And he looks physically like a big leaguer. I mean, at Twins Fest, you can see him. He just, he's barrel-chested. He's a big, strong kid. And he can really move for a guy his size. So he's going to be a, a, a very good big leaguer. Trevor Larnick looked like a big leaguer as well. That's a um, good sign. Tall, fairly lean, but not a slight figure. Fairly imposing – He's got, I don't know who I'd compare him to physically. Like, I think Max Kepler looks a little bigger, and I think he doesn't look oh, too, really? too different than Max Kepler. Because Kepler was wiry last yeah, year. Yeah, and I have a story coming on Kepler. I mean, he's thrilled to be with the Twins long term. He's just happy that they felt he was a player worth prioritizing for Because he's still, I mean, he's still, if you look at you know his spray chart, he's still hitting. Oh, and there's plenty of unfulfilled potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of one direction, and, and certainly a lot of the <laughs> 